Ready to go. I'm nervous. You got it. Leadership is more than, you know, I'm going to be giving people orders or telling people, hey, follow me. Way to go. All right, good job. Exactly. Good High Five develops leaders in a way that so few people are able to do these days, and I think we deserve to have great leaders. Let's go, you got it. It's not just about empowering them to take risks on challenge courses, it's empowering them about choices in life. <laughs> just like hold on to not there, just pull. Experiencing people on a different level changed me as a person and it changed my outlook on life. I get so nervous, but I just love it. It's like, it's crazy. Oh! oh. There's different versions of edge leadership at elementary, middle, and high school levels, and they vary somewhat, but each and every one of them has that, that same collection of themes around the connect and empower and lead. It's not my goal to teach you how to necessarily climb um, so that the world has more climbers. Those are the activities, there's tools to invoke certain behaviors that we're looking for, so very social behaviors, problem solving, there's fears and anxieties in there. For this, we're kind of orbiting the group after we give them instruction and allowing them to sort of figure this stuff out. I like watching the Edge of Leadership people and like the way they express themselves. Like the adults are like getting their knowledge across to us, but they're not taking over. And then the hope is after they've figured out how they can connect with other people, help other folks connect, they've got these skills that they can bring back to say, I know how to solve problems, I know how to identify what the issues are. Sports teams are trying to win more games. Classrooms are trying to function as a community of learners, you know. So in each case, you try to hear what do they want and need and then craft the plan accordingly. And, that, and that's the excitement of it. I actually requested to work with Hi-Fi because I was inheriting a classroom of kids who had a lot of social dysfunction. In fifth grade, we didn't really work together as a team. We had to learn a bunch of activities on how to trust each other and be supportive to the other students. When High Five comes in and they present a challenge to the students, they don't give them answers. They're not even looking for a right answer. They're giving them an experience that's framed through the problem, and then you watch what kids can do. Kids learned, I think, a real flexible meaning of what leadership is. All those kids began to look at their own leadership style and see that potential. It really helps kids learn how to not judge kids and to cheer each other on. And everybody was supporting each other and I had a lot of fun. We're teaching kids to be the best they can be right now. We have no control of what happens next, but if they have a good experience here and they learn to be active, develop their own voice, they are engaged and they, they work cooperatively together they got a good chance of being successful, whatever their next experience is. By the end of sixth grade, I had so many people coming to me and saying what role models our sixth graders were, and that felt so good. Our successes are always measured by what's the outcome of the person who leaves here, or the group that leaves here, and what do they then go and do that is, again, is making the classroom more successful, is making the team more successful, is making the business work a little bit better. We brought a group to Edge of Leadership last year, and they left the plan to implement water bottle refilling stations at all of our recreation soccer parks in uh, Manchester. You're trying to start small, but the, that smallness grows pretty quickly. You know, the, that ripple effect of good stuff. But through the Youth Commission, we've given them a voice and Edge of Leadership gives them that empowerment, that leadership. It's somewhat of a professional development training for these young people to find a voice, to communicate what their thoughts and their passions are, to do it in such a way that it is valued by adults in their community. They report directly to the mayor, the town manager, and all the Democrats and Republicans that make huge decisions about their future and the future of their community. There's issues going on that people may not agree with you, but you may feel strongly about that, and you have to voice that opinion. Being out here, where you have everything to be afraid of, when you're in that room with people, you have nothing to be afraid of anymore because you've been out here and you've been in trees 90 feet in the air, and I think that's why I can voice my opinion on Youth Commission. The people that work at High Five, I believe, have the ability, through their personality, their experience in the work itself, um, to make it real for anyone that walks on this campus or anyone that they impact outside of this campus. Um, they are, to me, the top of the line of professionals in this field. Even pro sports teams need 
players to speak, who's a presence in the room, but a good presence. And, and Danny said it helped him enormously in that regard. After coming here at uh, Edge of Leadership, um, you know, I, I really learned what type of example I can be to lead. My first year here was back in uh, 2010 with the Boston Bruins, and um, you know, they just wanted to kind of build up the team chemistry. It's amazing what a simple activity, you know, just the, the trust that you can build off of and uh, the self-doubt that I used to, used to have really kind of went away, uh, and this was a big part of it. As history would have it, that was the year they won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been more excited in my career than what we're putting together with this right now. We're building better community members and citizens uh, that can feel like they have control over what's going on around them rather than just being caught up and carried away by what's going around them. They have a voice and an influence and that they can use it. And I think that can only translate into leadership in life, in business, in education, and we need more of that uh, in this world. And that, that's the kind of world I want to live in where, where we are seen for who we are, we are empowered, and we're taught to be leaders.